here in Robinson and Morse. It's a good field. Away they go. Robert Berry sets sail through turns one and two on the outside, though very quickly Tony Sneddon has taken the race lead. Nice outside pass, crosses and leads comfortably already. Car four also running prominently, Keith Muller. Here they come, accelerating off turn number four. Morse and Robinson already involved in a drag race. Morse on the inside, the Victorian from the Northern Rivers region of New South Wales. It's Mark Robertson running fourth. This is an excellent V8 dirt modified race with our race leader being Tony Sneddon in that beautifully presented green and purple car number 99. He's in front. Look at 62 serving it up to him, Robert Theory. Tim Morse on the inside. They are three wide as they race down the back straight away and Mark Robertson is fourth. This is a terrific race. Sneddon is hanging on for dear life. Here comes the Victorian former national champion though, Tim Morse up on the inside of the green car number 73. He takes the lead with Five laps to go. That's a decisive pass by Morse. Shows his class. He started from the inside of the third row and to be leading after just three laps in this event, given the quality of competitor, is a very fine effort. Off turn number four, he, he comes. There's a really good battle between car number 62, 99, and the Australian champion, Robinson. The battle for the minor placings is intense. Currently the driver of 62, Robert Ferry has the best of it. Robinson involved in a really good duel with Tony Sneddon as they work their way off the top couple of turns. Morse is a clear-cut leader. Car number six is having a nightmare drive out there at the moment. I thought he was going to leave the circuit. He changed his mind and decided to turn left. He gave Tim Morse heart palpitations, let me tell you. The Victorian, the leader, oh so comfortably, 100 metres in front, just two laps to go. Car number eight, in fact, it was that was having the handling gremlins, that's Graham Harris in the CR contract resources entry. 62 still runs second on the circuit, Robert Ferry. Mark Robertson, his car not working as well as he'd like it. It's understeering something chronic, particularly as he runs low on the circuit. Sneddon further back in fourth. Look at the lead that Tim Morse has built up. This Victorian is very, very good. He got it wrong through turns three and four, but he's got a big enough lead to win comfortably. There's the checkered flag. The driver of 73 takes it. 62 second of the chequered flag, that man being Robert Ferry, then Mark Robinson who had a torrid drive in the ill-handling Valvoline Australia 1 car finished third, and fourth on the circuit was Tony Sneddon in a race time of 2 minutes